There's a new Karate Kid movie starring Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan, and the story to the movie has leaked. Today, I invite Drew Rohalley, co-host of The Last Row Podcast, to go over the story and see what we think about it. Nicole here at Murphy's Multiverse did an amazing job. They completely leaked this idea for the new movie. It could have been rewritten, probably has been rewritten, but we might get an idea of the story behind this. And we know this is true because look, it's Rob Lieber mm -hmm. who is writing this new movie. So I'm going to read through this, Drew, and I want to get your reaction. Sure. Okay, Sony's looking for a 17-year-old male Chinese actor who speaks both Mandarin English and the character's referred to as Lee. In the casting announcement, the character's name is Lee. So this is pretty much the same story, the same script. So let's read through this. It's said to be small for his age, but tough, smart, and scrappy. He's said to be a skilled fighter and a student in Beijing who finds his life uprooted after his mother moves them to Brooklyn, New York. Lee is said to be struggling with a past tragedy, which drives a wedge between him and his doctor mom, who has managed to handle the same tragedy in their own way. I'm guessing, Drew, this tragedy probably has to do with his father, uh, just given the franchise history. After Lee meets Mia... A student from his high school and her father, Victor, at a local pizza restaurant, he'll <laughs> soon find his life has changed yet again for the better. Lee soon finds himself training Victor, the, the older father character, in the art of kung fu, despite his mother's stance against violence and fighting and ultimately back in the ring himself. All right, Drew, what's your reaction to that story? I just feel like, so we watched the next Karate Kid. And that was connected, like directly connected, right? Because you had yes. Mr. Miyagi, Pat Morita in there. And they tried to to redo it with a new person, Julie. And and ultimately, I did enjoy that movie, looking back on it. Like, I, I did enjoy it. I, I think maybe at the time in the 90s, it wasn't what I wanted. But like, looking back, it was interesting. But I just, it's really, and I'm, I'm at a loss for words on this sometimes. I don't want to say it's not going to do well because I think it, it will. And by attaching the name to it, like I think it's instantly going to have some credibility, but I just, I don't know. I just wonder like, what is the point? Like, I don't know. It just, it's weird, right? Especially if, well, maybe that's where the Daniel connection comes in. If there's there, if, if the Daniel connection is there somehow, I mean, it's not in this, this writing here. It just seems weird. And then to have the student train the father, if, if I'm reading that right, is that, so it's a reverse sort of mentorship, which could be interesting, I guess. It's like a play on it. I don't know. I just, I'm just not sure. <laughs> I, mean, right. I feel bad saying that. I just don't know. It's hard, man. I, I'm, I'm like my, um, my word, I'm at a loss for words in this a little bit. It just seems odd, is what I would say. <laughs> Drew, I remember my first reaction to this, and it was that the story, it sounds like it could be a Good story, a very interesting story. Yes. But it's not the Karate Kid. I don't know why you'd call it the Karate Kid. It's it's different enough that it should have had its own title. It should be its own entity. Um, and it felt like they were taking this idea for a story and kind of forcing the Karate Kid name on it. And because uh, Terry Johnson here says, so it's Kung Fu again, yeah. not karate. Which Right. I mean, that, that's, that was the criticism of the 2010 movie is that they were doing Kung Fu and not karate. Mm -hmm. So why are you calling it the karate kid? And, you know, I think that's true. The, the uh, Drew Tube <laughs> says, since the guy works at a pizza shop, they could do a lot. Forget wax on, wax off. I can't wait for pizza in the oven, pizza out of the oven. <laughs> I mean, flipping the, flipping the pie, you know, like twirling the dough. That could be interesting, I guess. <laughs> right. But at the same time, Drew, you brought up a good point about him he's young so it's like the thing that kind of sounds weird to me is that he wouldn't be in a position to come up with all these new exercises for the father figure because right. he's pretty young uh he you would expect that from mr miyagi or even mr han because they've lived a full life they've they've had time to reflect and come up with these exercises this best way of teaching um, they've had so many years, they've been training their entire lives and they want to share this. They want to be mentors and share their wisdom with, with someone young. And the thing is, no matter how skilled a young person is at fighting, they just haven't had the life experience 
and the lifetime of training, I think, to be able to come up with like pizza in the oven, pizza out of the oven, you know. In fact, if he's from Beijing, I don't know if he's familiar with pizza too much, uh, you know. And uh, I don't know. So to me, I don't know. Something's off. It's it's interesting. I mean, there could be some interesting wrinkle, I guess, of a younger person teaching someone who's older something. It's different, right? It's I don't know. In the business world, you. you you hear a lot about reverse mentoring, right? right? Like people always talk about, oh, you know, the more seasoned employees or the more seasoned people could learn a thing or two from the younger generation. And I think there's some truth to that. And it could be interesting, especially, I mean, I don't know how true this will be. Like you said, it's it was right. sort of leaked, but it's an interesting wrinkle on it, put it that way. And it's not necessarily a rehash per se, but I also agree with you in that like what, would that person learn maybe more about like appreciating life or getting over hardships and stuff from a, a younger perspective? I think there could be something there that could possibly possibly be interesting. But I think the the thing that the thing that I would want out of this is I would want something that's emotional, something that you know pulls at the heartstrings maybe because of some of those dynamics. Versus just like a rehash of, hey, I'm going to teach this person Kung Fu and now they're going to learn how to do this and whatnot, right? Like we, we talked about sidekicks on this, on this show. I mean, that's another movie that came out around that time, different take on it, but it was, you know, uh, Barry Gabruski beat up in high school, stuff like that, right? He learned karate and hung out with Chuck Norris. Like that was cool, but it was sort of like a generic karate kid. As much as I love that movie, you know, like it, it's really hard to recapture that magic and it's really hard to take something and just, I don't know, find that spark. And maybe they will, if they get the right actors and, and actresses. But I think, you know, a lot of it has to do with maybe the the emotional aspect of the story. And for me, like if they can, if they can give you something that's more... Um, you know, I don't know, like heartfelt, maybe I'm, I'm for it. I don't know. It's a really tough one, man. I, cause I want to be open-minded and, and I want to, and I know that, like you said, right, there's a lot of creative people probably working on this that are putting their heart and soul into it. So I want to give it a chance. It just feels weird. I have this thing where a lot of times, like even when they redid Total Recall, for example, like they remade Total Recall with Colin Farrell. Like, why do you need to remake that? I just, you know, the original is such a classic, like, why would you need to remake that? And uh, it's just like, I feel these types of movies that come out where they take the intellectual property and it's like, well, at least this is going to get us a base level of of money back. Like, I hope that it's not that way. But as we've seen from the strikes, the studios are trying to make money, rightfully so. I mean, they're businesses, but I don't know. It's... I feel conflicted. I guess if you guys can't tell, I'm conflicted on the whole thing. <laughs> right. Very conflicted.